Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, we're done with planting. Um, if you haven't figured that out already. But basically, I'll explain more about how planting went um, after all this. But right now, we're going to be getting ready for hay. So, we got to get out all the hay stuff. And we're actually going to be putting the tiller back in the corner again. So, we got to pull out the combine. Uh, and of course everything else so that's basically the plan for today uh, I shouldn't take too long um, but yeah we'll get her done
All right, so we got everything back in the shed already, um, except for the hay bind, because we're gonna be using that in a couple days. Uh, but we had an idea with the combine to kind of push it over that way more, because uh, the tires used to kind of be right about there. So we pushed it further this way. You can see how squeezed in the tiller is. Um, but we did it that way so that hopefully we can fit more stuff back in this corner over here. Uh, we can double up these wagons. Basically just fit more in here. Um, so yeah, we're good putting that stuff in. Um, but we do have the hay bind sort of hooked up. Um, we still got to hook up all the hoses and stuff, but we are, we're hopefully going to be cutting it this weekend. Um, but it looks like there's a chance of rain. Uh, so I guess while I'm here, uh, I'll kind of summarize, I guess, what happened at the end of planting. Uh, wasn't nothing special, but the last thing you guys may have saw, um, if you have been following along, was we had a um, hose, a hydraulic hose burst on the marker arms on the planter. Uh, we couldn't get one that day because it was a Sunday and the businesses that fix them were closed. Uh, but anyway, that's where that video ended. So basically we went to the shop the next day got a new one put it right on um i wasn't there because i was at school and then the guys finished up the field things went good from what i was told and yeah they finished the field so obviously everything's planted because it is june 8th um my last day of school is actually tomorrow so i'm getting pretty excited about that and uh so yeah like i said we're gonna be hopefully doing hay this weekend but we're super excited because there's a chance of rain and we have gotten not even an eighth of an inch of rain basically since we planted all the beans so here is the first field of beans that we planted they are up uh because the ground was pretty wet when we planted it but they're looking good they're not too bad but this ground is bone dry probably a good foot under so we are in desperate desperate need of some rain so if it wants to rain on the day that we plan to do the to do the hay i'm happy with that um, the corn uh, is looking a little worse than the beans. They're kind of starting to curl up and uh, they're looking pretty thirsty, basically. So uh, we're really hoping we get the rain, but the beans are looking pretty good. Uh, they should be a little taller at this point, but that's what you expect with pretty much no rain. Uh, the hay field, um, we did get... A decent amount of rain um, before and kind of during planting uh, so the hay field is actually pretty tall usually by this time of year we've cut it so right now you're at my eye level um, this is over waist high and it's pretty thick too because we put fertilizer on it this year so this stuff is super super thick we're my guess for the year of how much how many bales we're gonna get is about 800 last time we put fertilizer on it we got about 300 or 750 bales uh roughly so I'm saying this year is going to be more, but it's going to be a fun one to cut. So yeah, the planter 
is obviously unhooked because the 4030 is over there. And uh, planter is unhooked. We cleaned it all up, washed all the fertilizer off of it and all the dirt and everything. So it's all cleaned up and tucked into the second farm's main machine shed um, for the summer, I guess, or for the rest of the year. So as I come up here to the big fields, you can see this is the bean field I'm in right now. For some reason, this corner right here, basically nothing came up. I'm thinking it's just kind of a lot of compaction up here. Um, it's just really dry, really, really dry. So here's the corn. You can see it's actually not looking too bad uh, given the uh, circumstances I guess the ground is rock hard but uh, they sprouted in time for that and you can see they're actually still growing surprisingly um, which is kind of sad to say but uh, the roots basically it's taking all the energy to shoot a bunch of roots to get all the way down to the moisture probably a good three feet underground to be honest so that's what the corn's trying to do right now got some guys spraying up there the nice thing uh believe it or not about no rain is that also means no weeds so this field is pretty much spotless in fact, all the fields are pretty much spotless because after we sprayed it the first time, uh, they can't come back basically with no rain. So, yeah, it's it's dry. Guess that's all there is to say. So yeah, I guess that's gonna be all for this video, guys. Stay tuned for when we cut the hay. Um, that's gonna be very very soon so yeah anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one